Welcome to the first episode in the third year of our Follow the Foals series, during which we've followed seven horses from the moment they entered the world through to their training to become world-class racehorses. Following a hugely successful naming competition across social media, through which thousands of you submitted fantastic suggestions, our seven two-year-olds now have their own brilliant names. The Bay Frankel Colt out of classic winning mare Simple Verse will be called Royal Verse and will go into training with John Gosden, now in partnership with his son Thady. The Dark Angel filly out of La Rioja has been named Criolo and is in training with William Haggis. The Bay filly by Havana Gold out of Stroll Patrol is with Hugo Palmer and is known as Cuban Beat. Lady Clementine is the chosen name for the lovely Churchill filly out of Windfire, and she'll be trained at Kingsclear by Andrew Balding. The chestnut Dubawi Colt out of Wakila has been named Millennial Moon and is in training with John and Thady Gosden. Rakurai, Japanese for Lightning Strike, is the chosen name for the Deep Impact filly out of Lightning Pearl, and she's also with John and Thady Gosden. The Bay Galileo filly out of Just the Judge is in training with Rafe Beckett and would be called Electress. The last time we saw our horses, they were being put through their early paces by respected pre-trainer Tim Rusbridge. And now school is very much in session for them as they've been moved to world-class trainers in a bid to become racing's next superstars. We visited Clarehaven Stables to see Millennial Moon and Rakurai who are under the care of the Gosden duo. And John talked us through their progress and his thoughts on the two horses. The Chestnut Colt uh, by Dubawi out of Wakila, who's been named Millennial Moon, has settled in very nicely. He's been with us a good six, seven weeks. He's a really good mind on him. He's a charming person to be around. And some of the Jibawis can be quite a little bit culty. He's just sensible, comes out, does his work nicely. A good ride, nice action, not too much knee action like a lot of Jibawis can be. And at this stage, he's just doing nice, normal, uh, two canters here on Warren Hill three times a week. And obviously he's a horse that we'd be wanting to run in time over seven furlongs. I don't see him as a six furlong sprinter. I don't think that's his game but certainly a nice, promising-looking colt with a good mind on him at this early stage of the game. Rakurai, who has just been named yesterday, the Deep Impact filly out of Lightning Pearl, has come into us really quite recently. Nice filly, carries herself well. Deep Impacts aren't big, but I think she's got enough size about her, and I've been very happy with her. She's doing just one canter here at the moment, since she's just quietly getting used to our routine and we'll build her up, but certainly has a, a good way of carrying herself, a lovely eye about her, and I like her stride, and I like her positive mentality. Obviously, it's very early days. We don't go trying two-year-olds in a hurry. Uh, we let them come and develop and strengthen and grow themselves, and they let us know when it's time to go forward. But certainly, my first impressions of her have been very positive. The Bay Frankel Colt out of classic winner Simple Verse named Royal Verse will also go to the Gosdoms, but is being given some more time at rehab and pre-training centre long holes and should go into training shortly. Also facing a minor setback is the filly Cuban Beat, who's with Hugo Palmer. We visited her at Hugo's to discover how she's going and if she'll return to the gallop soon. Cuban Beat arrived after New Year, sometime in January. She's been a real favourite among everyone here, actually, really since she started. She's a gorgeous, strong, good-looking filly, and uh, she's done everything right since she's been here. We trot the horses up every Thursday afternoon um, with the team, with my assistants, the farriers and the vets, and uh, we noticed on Thursday that she was just looking a little bit tight um, behind. She wasn't lame, but she was stiff behind. So she's just having a bit of time um, on the flat. She's having light lunges in, in the lunge pen. Uh, just trotting and gently cantering, which she's good at and very settled. And she's already moving much better. So I hope sometime next week we'll, we'll get her back under tack again and, and she should be cantering again um, as normal the week after that. 
Lady Clementine is at Kingsclear with Andrew Balding and he's delighted with how she's settled into her work so far. She's a fine big filly with plenty of scope. We wouldn't want to be trying to put her under pressure too early, just let her find her feet and when she's ready she will suggest in her work when it becomes really easy for her that that's the time maybe she's ready to do a little bit more, either work on the grass or, or go up to the downs and work. Next time we'll catch up with the rest of our seven as we move into summer and keenly watch as they take to the track and the moment we've all been waiting for, to start racing. Join us then as we pick up our unprecedented journey with these horses and endeavour to follow the superstar. <laughs>